Welcome back everybody to Buzz Movies. Uh, you know, today I'm at a kind of a sleepy truck stop out here in the middle of nowhere as I uh, refuel, gather my thoughts a little bit, have a cup of coffee. Breaker, breaker. It's a good time to talk about a little movie called Breaker Breaker 1977, starring Chuck Norris. Well, starring Trucks and Chuck Norris, really more of a Chuck exploitation film. Thank you. How about it? We got any 18 wheelers out there with ears on? I'll run one of you wagon man. Sure, if somebody out there is going to back us up. Now, how about any of you gear jammers out there want to kick some ass and take names later? Uh, you know, the late 70s were just uh, a wash in redneck, blue collar, uh, truck style movies from uh, Convoy. White Line Fever, Smokey and the Bandit, Gator, White Lightning, all those, you know, all the great exploitation movies from back in the day. Chuck Norris got in on the action too. Um, and what's important about this film, not that it's a very good film, but that it really launched Chuck Norris uh, into the stratosphere as a leading man of action. And uh, for that alone, um, it deserves to be watched and uh, pick it up where you can. Um, pretty cheap. It actually has a Blu-ray release, which is surprising. But I like the charm of just a shitty DVD transfer with scratches and pubic hair. God knows what's on my copy. Hey, Stro! Stro, come here! It takes place in this uh, in this city, uh, which is, yeah, the western town. Um, but it's called Texas City. It's located in California, um, apparently. Um, really one of the dustiest towns that you've ever seen. Just dust and grit uh, everywhere. Through multiple chase scenes, through backlog fights, and occasional horses and trucks tearing up the town. But uh, a corrupt uh, judge, a fan of the town, runs it along with his posse of, of, of horrible deputies. They are stealing truck drivers' loads and holding them for ransom. Chuck Norris's little brother uh, gets tangled up with this uh, with this group, and uh, you know he's basically held hostage. It's up to Chuck to kick ass and serve some Chuck Norris roundhouse kick justice, which is what we're here to see. And boy, does he deliver. He gets there uh, to this town after he finds out what's going on. He gets to the town and rolling up in just the most badass uh, Golden Eagle Sky Blue van. So after a failed negotiation attempt, um, which you know Chuck is all about diplomacy, um, that's when the ass kicking really starts in earnest. Um, doesn't always look good for him. In fact, uh, at one point um, towards the end, he needs to call in the cavalry. Um, in this case, it's every semi truck within earshot is brought to the town, and they just done tore up that flimsy western set like you wouldn't believe. And man, does that go on uh, for a gloriously long time to fill up that whole 76 minutes. Uh, at least a third of the movie is dedicated to destroying that set, um, uh, which is great. And then the rest of the time, Chuck Norris is running around, kicking people, punching people, doing what he can to save his little brother. All right, this little movie really moves. It's only got a 76 minute runtime, which is, I don't think even qualifies as feature length. You know, it's a small film, uh, started off uh, 
you know, rolling off the success of, um, of his bout with Bruce Lee in uh, Way of the Dragon. Um, he made another movie in between some Hong Kong thing that's never been seen. Um, but this was really his first shot and he was only paid $5,000, which, you know, at the time was a chunk of change, but not considering what it is today with, with budgets like this. Um, went on to make uh, millions, um, near $12 million box office. So if you had a, if you had a truck and some good old boys just beating the tar out of each other, it was bound to make its uh, budget back in tenfold at the box office. Chuck doesn't think uh, too much of this film uh, these days, but apparently it was his dad's favorite film, which is um, awesome. And you can see why, the proud moment for the, uh, for the Norris family, uh, this uh, quaint little movie. Like I said, there's not much, there's not much to this one. Uh, the bare bones plot strung together by uh, action scenes and car chases, which uh, no complaints from me. Uh, but they really did try with some of the characters to give them more uh, personality, more depth. Uh, they may not be three-dimensional characters, but at least uh, two and a half dimensions, maybe, here and there. Um, you know, they, they try for some moments. Um, but, uh, no, what, what we're really here for um, is, the, uh, is the Chuck Norris action. Uh, the, uh, the, the cool van, the cool cars, the cool trucks, the CB radio breaker breaker. Um, trucker talk is cool, I guess. Take a big 10 100 Strode! <laughs> uh, if we need to remake Breaker Breaker, I'd say go for it. Uh, I'm not sure who I'd cast as the lead role. Maybe that, uh, maybe that clown from from the Lethal Weapon show, uh, Clayne, Cl Clive, Clayne Roberts, Clive, Clayne Crawford to do it. He's not doing anything these days, is he? Um, Give him a sidekick or, or somebody, um, Kevin Hart. No, uh, <laughs> I don't know, find somebody. And uh, you know, let's have him beat up a bunch of rednecks. I, I mean, I, I'd, I'd pay good money to see that. Like I said, check it out. It's a quick review today uh, because, you know, I got, I got things to do. I, I got to be back on the road. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, find it at Walmart. <laughs> You gotta find these type of movies in Walmart. I mean, can you buy them from anywhere else? So go to your nearest uh, DVD bargain bin and uh, pick up Breaker Breaker, and it's uh, it's worth adding to your library, especially if you're a Chuck fan um, and, and a lover of, of redneck exploitation. Um, and there's not many left, honestly. The, the people that are watching this are probably in their 50s and 60s and, and remembering the, the, the good old days. Um, of uh, fighting corrupt sheriffs and backwater birds. Yeah. But anyway, recommend for me. Um, maybe one of those ones that are like two and a half or three stars out of five. Uh, so that means it's time to go. Um, catch, uh, catch me next time when I'll talk about another uh, genre classic uh, like Breaker Breaker. Um, yeah, and let's uh, let's do it. All right, I'm hitting the road. <laughs>